Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I'm making for you a delicious bacon and pepperoni pasta recipe. All right, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, so before I get started with the video, I just want to shout out John Hutchins from Food Fanatic TV. He's another content creator. He helped me shoot the video for this recipe. Now let's get started with the ingredients. So right here you have all the ingredients. Right here I'm just sharpening up my knife. Also all the ingredients are gonna be listed in the description below. All right, so here I'm just doing up some prep. Also, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it definitely helps support the channel. Also, check out some of my other videos. I have videos where I'm cooking on the Blackstone griddle outside. I got other pasta videos. I got a lot of seafood videos. I got a few steak videos up here. So, um, yeah, definitely look around the channel. And um, if you like what you see, definitely uh, give me a subscribe, a thumbs up, and definitely share some of my content with your friends and family. I appreciate it. Now let's get back to this video. All right, so here I'm getting my pasta cooking. Add a little salt and oil to the water. Yeah, so the salt is gonna get the pasta flavor and the oil is gonna keep the pasta from sticking. All right, so right here I'm going into a hot cast iron pan with my bacon, my chopped up bacon. And this is applewood smoked thick cut bacon. You can use any bacon you want. It still should give it really good flavor, but I love applewood smoke. All right, so right here I got my bacon nice and crispy, removing it from the pan. All right, now I'm going in with my vegetables and my chopped garlic. Yeah, just so you know, I removed some of the bacon grease. I didn't want to have so much uh, oil in there, but I did save it and I'll use it for something else. All right, so right here, I'm just sauteing everything, getting it nice and wilted, getting those flavors released out of uh, the onions and the garlic and everything. All right, so here I am deglazing the pan with some white wine. And now I'm gonna let that reduce down by half. All right, so here I am cutting up some pepperoni. All right, so I mixed in my pepperoni. I'm giving that a quick stir. And this was something I decided to do last minute. Um, I think the pepperoni is just gonna add a little bit more flavor to the um, dish. All right, so my uh, white wine has reduced by half, and now I'm going in with my tomato sauce. I'm giving that a nice stir. 
making sure everything is blended well, the white wine, all the vegetables and everything. All right, so going in with some more seasonings. Here I'm going in with some crushed red pepper, some oregano flakes. A little bit of sugar to balance uh, the, the tartness out. All right, so now I'm going in with some almond milk. Um, I didn't have heavy cream, but I would sub out the almond milk and use heavy cream instead. Um, now I'm going in with some fresh grated uh, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of salt. A little bit of Creole seasoning just to give it a little bit more of a kick. But yeah, if you want to keep it healthy, go ahead and use the almond milk. But if you want a nice, thick, rich, creamy sauce, then definitely use the heavy cream. All right, so here I am stirring everything together, making sure um, the almond milk mixes with the uh, marinara. So here I am going in with uh, about four tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter, a splash of Worcestershire sauce. sauce. That's going to make the flavors um, kind of come together. That's a little trick that we do in uh, restaurant cooking. Um, and yes, you know, I've been a chef for about 25 years and I'm currently working as a chef at a restaurant now. All right, so here I am going in with, uh, with my pasta. Oh, and as far as the uh, grated cheese, definitely grate your own cheese. Do not buy that stuff in the middle aisle in the um, supermarkets. The stuff that's not refrigerated. That stuff is not considered cheese. It's actually considered a season. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna if you're not if you're gonna buy it grated already, definitely get it refrigerated. All right, here I am going in about half of my bacon. And now I'm just stirring everything together, mixing everything really good. So at this point, the whole recipe is done. Delicious bacon and pepperoni pasta recipe done by yours truly, Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. So I just want to thank you for checking out another one of my videos. Also, once again, shout out to John Hutchins for helping me to shoot this video. Um, you can check out his channel at Food Fanatics TV on YouTube. Uh, he does great food reviews and he also does some really awesome recipes as well. All right. On that note, I just want to, you know, ask you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Also hit that thumbs up button. Um, share the video. Check me out on social media at Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And I'll catch you on the next video. God bless. Go forth in victory. Peace.